Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. Oh, there's like a mos mosquito going on. Uh, this is Larry. This is day 23 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. There's a lot of things going on right now. I mean, I feel like like th there's like this thing to the right, there's this thing to the left. I just want to do my problems. Lico, uh, and today we have Yeezy, so hopefully it should stay easy. I uh, hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, I'm still kind of just ramping up my resting so that uh, I can go travel. Uh, as, as I mentioned before, I am going to uh, the Baltic countries uh, next week. So definitely, uh, yeah, if you're interested in how that goes, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely talk about it in these videos. It's kind of like my daily thing nowadays, right? But also feel free to hit my hit up my Instagram. It's on my description. Um, just, you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> hit the like button on that, those stuff too. Uh, Look, I don't make money from this. I don't intend to make money from this. Maybe that's a little bit dumb. I don't know. But uh, and I don't intend to make money on Instagram either. But it would make me feel good about me getting a new expensive lens. Uh, <laughs> if you just like some of those photos, and then I'll be like, OK, at least someone like enjoy my photos. And I and waste a lot of money on those uh, silly lens. Anyway, let's take a look at today's problem. I mean, it is supposed to be a easy, so let's just keep it easy and keep it going fast. And yeah, let's go. We have 1399 count largest group. You're given an integer n. Uh, each number from 1 to n is grouped according to some digits. Earlier, some of the digits. We turn the number of groups to have the largest size. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think this is kind of interesting, right? Um, I think the biggest thing is just about complexity analysis for this one. I guess, because it is just, you know, um, straightforward otherwise. Because then you have 10 to the fourth digits, which is like, what, 10,000? Easy to do as long as you do, each operation is cheap. And each operation will have only about four or five additions, right? Because by definition, 10 to the fourth only has like five digits. So, you, you know, so it's just going to be five times 10 to the fourth or four times 10 to the fourth. I don't know. 10 to the 4th is what, 10,000? Yeah, I mean, four, uh, okay, so 4 digits, right? So 4 digits, except for, I guess, 10,000 exactly, right? So, yeah. And, of course, in that case, it's going to be n times log n, because log base n, 10n is going to be the number of digits, so it's going to be n log n. Of course, that is the complexity with respect to the number n, but not the size of the input, right? The size of the input is actually the number of bits representing this number n so as a result there's the uh the complexity is actually n times 2 to the n right because we have well log n number this is gonna be confusing my apologies because you be log n number of bits uh yeah and you have to kind of loop over for each and, and the number of bits is kind of like the number of binary digits right and for each number of binary digits um which you can convert to a 10 base digit without loss of generality due to the big O notation. Um, so for each digit, you do 10 numbers. So that's why how you get the, ten, the exponential, right? It's going to be 10 to the n. And then for each one of those digits, you do uh, n times. So it's going to be n times 10 to the n or 10 times 2 to the n, depending on how you want to play around with the basis. Uh, I mean, we just wrap a big O, it's all fine, kind of. Eh, there's some nuance there, I'm not going to go into it. But yeah, anyway, this is an easy problem, so let's just actually start, write the code. Uh, but that's how, uh, but I would say that's kind of the thought process I would think about this problem and just thinking about it before solving. Because the, writing the code sometimes is the easy part, right? It's not always the easy part, but it is sometimes the easy part, right? So yeah. So you have something like this. And uh, yeah, um... Some of the digits, okay, yeah. I, I was just double checking that it's not one of the uh, like you 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 keep going, you just do it once, right? So here maybe we can write even like f of um, I don't know, naming things is hard. F is for frequency, that's why I usually go for that. But yeah, for uh, f of I don't know, get some maybe of i, right? Increment by one. Right, and then now we have max of f dot uh, values, so that's the most, uh, the largest size, right? So m is equal to that, and then yeah, and then we just do another loop, I suppose, right? So yeah, so uh, return 
sum of uh, okay let, let's uh, i was going to write it in one line and i can do it but I don't, uh, maybe it's fine right so here we just return count is equal to zero right for i and f of values or for uh, whatever x and f of values maybe if x is equal to m where m is the max then we increment count and we just return count of course we still have to write this get some method right uh, and there are a couple of ways to write it. Um, I don't know, we can just write t for total to zero while x is greater than zero, x um, mod 10. So we add that, shift and add, or shift, or the other way around, <laughs> shift and subtract. And also, uh, this is one. What am I doing? This is x, right? And that's it, right? Unless I'm really bad, which sometimes happens. And yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, pretty um pretty okay right uh let me know what you think thanks for watching uh i think actually huh it, it's kind of funny uh because someone told me that i'm i apparently hit the five year streak which is definitely true but i just totally forgot about it because also it happens every year at like april Fool's. so i'm always trying to do like an april Fool's silly thing so i always forget to mention it but hey it takes it took me 23 days into the five years before i realized i had a five year streak so yay five year streak anyway that is all i have for this one five years is a crazy long time uh but i think all of you are born so okay anyway that is all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health uh yeah i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye